Welcome guys and girls, Puffle Bonky here. Um, yep, just to say sorry to uh, Phil480 and Chronicles of Mr. Fish for not turning up for their events. Uh, it wasn't the best of weather yesterday morning in Bournemouth. And I thought it was going to continue throughout the whole day, so I didn't even bother. I didn't want to do 160 odd miles in the rain. Uh, lucky that I stayed at home, I kept the rain with me. Um, Phil tells me he had a nice dry day. Cold but dry. So yeah, I kept the rain in Bournemouth, just for you guys. Summer's coming up sort of thing you do in the summer, test ride big bikes. I like the look at the ZZR 1400 but I'm not sure if, I, if it would fit me. I'm not the tallest of people and I know it's not a, a lightweight bike, obviously being that size engine anyway. I like the uh, idea of a sports tourer for the next bike after this one. Something quick but something I can put luggage on to. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be winning the lottery soon to uh, buy a brand new one. So it's just to see what they're like. The ZX10 uh, is a nice bike. Don't like the digital RPM on it. I prefer analog RPM and a digital speedo. The ZX6R has the nice uh, dash as, a, as I like them with the analog revs but it's only a 600 so it's not in terms of an upgrade as such. So uh, yeah 1400 would be nice. Be interested to know if it fits in my garage. I haven't got a very big garage. So, uh, uh, you never know. You never know. Oh dear, we've got an incident. Car crash. Ambulance. Police car. Police car. Oh dear. Here we go. Sunshine in the eyes again. It's actually almost looking sunny. Jaguar, I do like those Jaguars. They're very limousine-ish. I love going down this street. This is Christchurch, by the way, and it just yes, the exhaust just echoes. Lovely. When well, you can accelerate through it all. When it's clear, you can just accelerate one go. Sounds great. Mm. Okay, okay. Let's try not get a speeding ticket tonight. There are many policemen today. Many. 
keep an eye out behind us. They want to sneak up on you. They're sneaky a little. You know what? Let's see if there's a copper on the dual carriageway. because they put the speed camera uh, after the bridge on the left. They hide it around the corner sometimes. See, there's a copper. They're all over the place. Two of them. Keep doing the speed limit. So, are you guys going out on Easter over Easter on special Easter titled rides or Easter themed? Maybe you have to dress up as a rabbit. I don't know. Got my uh, Friday planned, but that's about it. I don't think I'll do anything uh, on the other days. I've got a niggling suspicion there's something happening on the Sunday. of mine came off on his bike the other day. You may have heard of him. Wolfie Picks. Yep. Who knows what happened there. Um, he may put up the video onto his YouTube channel at some point. Oh, there you go. That's not very good. I'm going to go this way. Yeah, he, uh, I think it was riding to work or something, and all of a sudden, the front end slipped away from him, and he came off. I think he's just got a few bruises. He hasn't broken any of his uh, body parts, but look, he didn't say too much about the bike, so hopefully it's not too bad or it's fixable. Hope you're okay, my friend. Hope you're well enough to uh, get out and ride with me again soon. Also, recently, more recently, Ryan O'Neill's had a bit of a close one as well. He did well to save his uh, near accident. He was trying to avoid a pothole on a roundabout. I think he still hit it and it pushed him into the curb. That is a scary vid. That could have been a lot worse than it was. So, uh, well saved, my friend, there. You did a good job. I think you guys deserve a bit of a detour. It's still a nice evening. Not yet dark, so the camera gives up. What we should do is explore the area. Now you guys know should know that I live in the New Forest, south coast of England, smack back in the middle, just above the Isle of Wight, on the mainland of course. So that means we have the best of both worlds. We have forest to the left. And if I turn right. Let's show you some seaside. 
Everybody wants to see the sea. Here we go, that's the sea view already. I know it's all the same colour as the sky at the moment. You can't see the break in the uh, horizon. Well, there you go. Let's see if we can see this at Yard of White today. Just about that dark patch there. Oh, look, we've got a lovely sunset coming our way. Okay, proof that I live next to the sea. And so do the seagulls. So that's the Isle of Wight in front of us. That dark mass of land. We've got Bournemouth over that way somewhere, and Pool. And that way, I guess, is France. These aren't the beaches we like coming to. They're a bit gravelly. They're a bit stony. Beaches in Bournemouth are all sand, so that's a good place to go to. I'll take you some time in the summer. Well, it's a lovely summer's day. And we're all sweating our bees off. So that's a quick bit of the beach. If we go along the road a bit, you can see the sea again. On the other side of this roundabout, there's a posh hotel called the Tewton Glen. Five star hotel. Celebrities flying on with their helicopters all the time. Plenty of grounds. Nice place to look at. Not been in there. There you go, you're in Hampshire now. Bend on the left is the uh, back entrance. Who are misses? There's a lot of land there, you see. See the sign on the left? Maybe we'll go there one day, but not today. That's not the hotel, that's just the gatehouse. Now I'm going to take you back down to the cliff top, further along to where we just, where we saw earlier. Okay, this is where you don't want to go straight on. Beautiful sunset. Here's some expensive houses. All the way along here on the left. See, we get even closer when we go down there. You can almost touch the Isle of Wight. Oh, look at that sunset. This is very close to where I live. I don't live in one of those. No. And what we've got down here is crumbling cliffs. Like I said earlier, it's uh, a bit gravelly. It's not the greatest of beaches to come down to sunbathe on. But uh, I'll show you the better ones later on. But, uh, hmm. I'm sure Spicy came down here once as well. a bit misty. There should be the needles on the end of there. You probably won't be able to see it with the camera but it's not the clearest of evenings. So yeah the sun's going down, the sun is setting. This place will be heaving in the summer. 
tourist hop spot. So, uh, sightseeing is done now. I think I'll take you guys uh, on another trip, another day, and another video, as uh, Wolfie likes to say. And, uh, like the video press the like button if you didn't like it press the not like button and tell me why any other comments questions do so in the comments below it'd be great to uh, hear from any of you any and all so uh, yeah let's get interactive bye goodbye to everyone in the next video.